Hello, we are glad to welcome you. You are about to hear a heartbreaking story. Famous psychologist John Walker, at the end of the video will comment on the story of the main character and give professional counseling. Reflecting on the journey that led me to this moment, I'm amazed by the twists and turns life has presented me. My name is Anna, and my tale begins with an unexpected encounter that transformed everything. Five months ago, on an ordinary day that turned out to be quite extraordinary, I found myself in a bustling cafe. Amidst the clinking of dishes and the buzz of conversations, I locked eyes with Robert from across the room. There was an immediate connection, a spark I couldn't ignore. He exuded a sense of calm amidst the chaos, and as we began conversing, the world around us faded away. Those five months were a whirlwind, an exhilarating dance of emotions. Our bond grew stronger with each shared laugh, late-night discussion, and stolen glance. It felt like destiny had woven our paths together, and we embraced the journey with open hearts. Then, in a surreal and profound moment, we found ourselves on the brink of marriage, ready to embark on a lifelong adventure together. As we navigated the joys and challenges of our new life as a married couple, news arrived that would forever alter our path. I was expecting a child. The magnitude of this revelation brought a mix of emotions, excitement, nervousness, and a profound sense of responsibility. With each passing day, my body underwent changes that were both beautiful and overwhelming. While my heart swelled with love for the life within me, the physical changes brought discomfort. Amidst the whirlwind of physical and emotional changes, a shift occurred between Robert and me. The intimacy that had come so naturally now felt like an immense challenge. My body, once a canvas of shared affection, was now a vessel for new life, and the vulnerability of that experience left me craving personal space and time to process my emotions. One day, I entered our shared space to a sight that shook me to the core. Robert, a man I deeply loved, was engaged in an intimate encounter with an artificial doll. The shock was overwhelming, and a wave of emotions, betrayal, anger, confusion, coursed through me. The disbelief and heartache I felt were profound, a pain that shattered the trust we had built. The ensuing confrontation was a whirlwind of emotions. Tears streamed down my face as I demanded an explanation, struggling to reconcile the scene before me with the man I thought I knew. Robert's voice, tremulous yet sincere, cut through the chaos as he explained that his actions stemmed from a need for emotional connection during a time of distance and change. He assured me that his feelings for me remained steadfast and that his intentions were never to replace or hurt me. Amidst the emotional storm, his words struck a chord. In the aftermath of that turbulent moment, we embarked on a journey of healing, understanding, and growth. We talked, we cried, and we confronted our fears and insecurities. I realized that love encompassed not just the fairy tale moments, but also navigating challenges with empathy and communication. Over time, I learned to see past the initial shock and understand the deeper emotions that had driven Robert's actions. Our love story, despite its imperfections, stood as a testament to our willingness to confront challenges together. As my pregnancy advanced, I witnessed Robert's unwavering support. We faced the uncertainties of parenthood united by the storms we had weathered. I came to understand that love was enriched by embracing imperfections. It was stronger when we accepted each other's vulnerabilities. Through countless conversations and shared moments of vulnerability, I came to believe Robert's words, that his actions weren't a betrayal, but a coping mechanism for the changes we faced. Together, we worked on rebuilding trust, reigniting intimacy, and forging a deeper connection. Following the birth of our daughter, we experienced profound happiness and relief. For a whole year, we cherished our time with her. However, 
One afternoon when Robert was at work, I decided to clear out some old items from the garage. Upon opening a closet, I discovered three artificial dolls and a stack of explicit magazines. Putting the pieces together, I understood why he had been spending so much time in the garage. When Robert returned, I confronted him about the situation. He admitted his preference for this and mentioned purchasing more dolls. He reassured me that he loved me and that it wasn't infidelity, but this time I struggled to believe him. Taking my daughter, I sought refuge at my mother's place. I decided to put our relationship on hold. I comprehend that it's not a betrayal, yet forgiveness doesn't come easily. Time and guidance are needed to address this situation. Dear Anna, your journey has been characterized by moments of deep love, vulnerability, and challenge. The complexity of your situation is clear, and your decision to take a pause and reflect is both thoughtful and necessary. During this time, prioritize your emotional well-being and that of your daughter. Allow yourself the space to process your feelings and determine the best course of action. Though Robert's actions stem from his personal struggles, your feelings of hurt and betrayal are valid. As you move forward, consider these steps self-care focus on your emotional well-being through activities that bring you solace and help you process your emotions. Communication when ready, engage in an open conversation with Robert. Express your feelings, concerns, and reasons for the pause. Listen to his perspective as well.